everybody welcome and welcome back again to my amazing space on the internet it's a girl cynthia and guys i'm back again with another reaction video hi beautiful people in today's video i'm going to be looking at 101 facts about sweden all right beautiful people without further ado let's just get right into this video Hey, mother factors, Jank Arda Sam, and today I'm here to talk to you all about the Scandinavian sensation, the Nordic non parel, the freezing phenomenon that is Sweden. Ooh. Sweden has contributed so much good to the world, much of it spherical. Confused? <laughs> well, I guess you'll have to keep watching to find out what I mean, won't you? Okay. But why do Swedish people regularly oh goodness, scream out of that? their windows? Why does Sweden import rubbish from Norway? And is the Swedish chef the king or president of Sweden? I should really learn more about international politics. Anyway, two out of three of those questions are going to be answered. So get comfortable on your stocks and armchair, grab okay. yourself some Sir Stonoming and salt licorice, and prepare to be Sweden-ated right up the Jack Sea with 101 facts about Sweden. Okay, bra. let's go. Number one. Sweden, known officially as the Kingdom of Sweden, is a Scandinavian country in Northern Europe. Are you with me so far? Yes, good. Okay. I thought the video would be a bit of a slog if you weren't, frankly. Number two. Sweden is nicely sandwiched between Norway to the west and north and Finland to the east. Sweden is also connected to Denmark to the southwest by a bridge tunnel across a super narrow strip of water known as the oh, Aral wow. Sand. Number three. Sweden is generally divided into three distinct regions, Ooh. which are stacked on top of one another vertically, like the sections of a fab. Ah, oh, I remember those. The southernmost region is Jotland, Svealand is found in the middle, and Norland sits atop the north. Sorry okay. if I mispronounce anything like that, because, uh, oh, apparently I mispronounce things all the bloody time, according to the comments section. Number four. At a hefty 450,295 square kilometers, Sweden is the third largest country in the European Union by area behind Spain in second place and France, which takes the gold medal. Number five. <laughs> Sweden has a total population of roughly 10 million people. Interestingly, wow. around 2.3 million of those people have a foreign background, meaning that Ooh. almost a quarter of all Swedes have recent ancestry from outside the country. Imagine Number six. That. Sweden has a pretty low population density of only 22 inhabitants per square kilometre. The highest concentration of people is in the south of the country, i.e. most of Jotland and Svealand. Furthermore, roughly 85% of the population of Sweden lives in urban areas. Mm. Number seven. The modern Swedish word for Sweden is Svaria. Svaria, which simply means realm of the Swedes. Pretty simple, unlike IKEA instructions. Oh, -ho! <laughs> zing. Got you there. Oh, it's probably oh racist goodness. when you mention IKEA, but there we go. Number eight. There is evidence to suggest that people have been living in what is now known as Sweden since as early as 12,000 BC. Oh. But Sweden first emerged as an independent state much later on during the early 12th century. Wow. In the year 1280, King Magnus Lada Lus issued a statute which established a nobility and granted them numerous rights and privileges, including freedom from taxation. Oh dear, typical posh boy. I shouldn't pay any tax because I've got loads of money. <laughs> uh. Number nine. A couple of centuries later, the population of Sweden was decimated by the Black Death. Oh, classic Ooh. Black Death. Which killed two-thirds of the Swedish population. Wow. At this point, Scandinavia's culture, finances and languages came under threat from a powerful merchant association called the German Hasiatic League. In response, the kingdoms of Sweden, Norway and Denmark joined together under a single monarch in 1397, creating what was known as the Kalmar Union. The Kalmar Union lasted almost 130 years until Sweden rage quit in 1523, becoming a strong, independent country that don't need no man in a crown. <laughs> Number 10. In okay. 1630, Sweden decided to get involved in the religious conflict known as the Thirty Years' War, which had already been raging for years. The Swedish involvement snatched the Protestant side of victory from the Catholic jaws of defeat, and resulted in a significant decline of Catholicism in Northern Europe. Imagine At this point, that. Sweden solidified its position as one of the great powers of Europe, which lasted for hundreds of years after. Sifra Elva. In the year 1658, oh, I'll remember that, what a great year it was. The sea between Sweden and Denmark froze over so completely that 9,000 Swedish soldiers and their horses literally walked across frozen water and besieged Copenhagen. Mm. Number 12. Unfortunately for the Swedes, during the 18th and 19th centuries, Sweden began to lose many of their territories outside the Scandinavian peninsula, culminating in the annexation of what is now Finland by Russia in 1809. Oh, poor Finns. Number 13. 
The last war in which Sweden was directly involved flared up in 1814, when Denmark 1814. was forced to cough up Norway, which was forced into a union with Sweden which lasted until 1905, at which point it was peacefully dissolved. Wow. The union, not the country. Since 1841, Sweden maintained an official policy of neutrality in foreign affairs, meaning that it's been at peace for over 200 years, even throughout both world wars. That is amazing. That being said, although Sweden was officially neutral in both World War I and II, the country did engage in humanitarian efforts. During the Second World War, Sweden took in refugees from German-occupied Europe, including almost all of Denmark's Jews, who Hitler, and I'm gonna say it, that dick, had ordered to be arrested and deported to concentration camps. However, Sweden also allowed the Nazis camps, to use their railways to transport arms and troops and traded with Germany throughout World War II, so it's a bit of a mixed bag of should we help the Nazis or not? Number 15. Between the 1850s to the 1930s, roughly 1.5 million Swedish people emigrated to North America. The population of Sweden in that period was never more than 3.5 million, so that's really saying something. Most America-bound Swedes ended up in Minnesota, where the American Swedish Institute is located in the state capital of Minneapolis. Number 16. After the Cold War ended, Sweden joined the European Union on the 1st of January 1995, but also chose not to adopt the Euro and also declined NATO membership. <laughs> oh, those rebels. It Number wasn't 17. That. Sweden is home to over 95,000 lakes larger than 100 square meters. Ooh. That's over 9.5 million square meters of lake, people. I'm trying to make this sound impressive, but I genuinely have no idea how much lake is a lot of lake. Right. <laughs> Number 18. The Orland Islands, an archipelago located at the entrance of the Gulf of Bothnia, are officially part of Finland, but are home to a Swedish-speaking minority who have their own government, flag, and culture. Oh. Number 19. Because of its proximity to the Arctic Circle, Sweden regularly experiences long, dark winters, which can lead to some of its citizens to suffer from seasonal affective disorder. As such, some bus stops in Sweden have been fitted with phototherapy lights to combat the effect of barely seeing the sun for months on end. Number 20. Sweden's northernmost town is Karuna, and is located well within the Arctic Circle. The town is so far north, in fact, it does this really mental thing where the sun does not set at all certain times of the year, and Ooh. subsequently doesn't rise at all for most of December. Number 21. Nowadays, Sweden is renowned for its Nordic social welfare system. Swedish citizens enjoy universal healthcare and university education entirely free of charge at this point is of use. So wow, that is, nice. That, that's good. I like that a lot. That's so nice. However, this comes at the price of high taxes. And with a tax rate of over 50% of GDP, Swedish people are among the most highly taxed in the world. However, most Swedes seem to be fairly happy with the situation. In fact, the Swedish word for tax is skatt, which doesn't mean anything filthy. It means treasure. Ah. Number 23. Since 1901, the Nobel Prizes have been awarded every year in Sweden to honor excellence in various fields, Ooh. with modern categories including physics, medicine, literature, peace, and YouTube fact videos. I uh, hope to collect my statue out this year. <laughs> As of last year, almost 585 prizes have been awarded to 923 people and organizations. Number 24. In case you didn't know, the Nobel Prizes are the legacy of Alfred Nobel, who Ooh. left a massive amount of money in his will to the establishment of the Nobel Prize. Wow. Oh, and also he invented dynamite in 1866, so well done, Alfred. I don't know what that coyote from Looney Tunes would do without you. <laughs> Number 25. Sweden has managed to accrue seven Nobel Prizes for literature, including the first woman to win the prize, Selma Lagerlöf, who won in 1909. Morbaka, a large mansion in West Central Sweden, has a national shrine and memorial to Lagerlöf. Number 26. Okay. But it's not just writing that Swedes have done good at. A number of important inventions and innovations are Swedish in origin. The pacemaker, the refrigerator, the ultrasound, the astronomical lens and computer mouse were invented in Sweden or by Swedes living abroad. So without yeah. Swedes, you wouldn't be able to see your baby and paste it all over Facebook. Oh, I'm having a baby. Yeah, we get it, Chan. Number 27. <laughs> Today, Sweden has won 636.5 so Olympic medals in total. The half a medal, which you may be thinking, uh? about is due to the fact that at the 1900 Olympics in Paris, Sweden competed alongside Denmark in a tug of war with France, okay. and Sweden Mark won the gold. Number 28. Okay. Of course, no discussion about Sweden would be complete without mentioning everyone's favourite international sensation that is IKEA. Did you know that everyone's favourite purveyor of Scandi design also sells roughly 1,836,000 meatballs across the globe every single day? No? Mm -hmm. Well, you do now. Do with that information as you wish. Eat it up like a meatball. <laughs> Number 29. In 2006, IKEA opened up a store in Haparanda, a municipality in Sweden, in the most northerly county of Norrbotten, making it the northernmost IKEA in the world. 
Temperatures there regularly drop to minus double digits during the winter. So minus I think I'll just go to the digits. one in Croydon. Oh my much. goodness. Must Number be really 30. Cold. Speaking of Haparanda, the town mm -hmm. is so close to the Finnish town of Tornio that they share the same post office with two separate phone lines. One for calls to Sweden and one for calls to Finland. Okay guys. Just so this video isn't long, I'm gonna stop there. So this is part one of 101 facts about Sweden. I'm definitely gonna be doing a part two. But yes, beautiful people actually learns a lot in just nine minutes into the video. Like you can imagine. So I feel like these types of videos are very educational, very, very informative and very much needed in order for you to expand your knowledge on uh, different countries i didn't i didn't know for a fact that ikea was a swedish brand like i'm just finding out <laughs> you all can just imagine how much more information i'm going to uncover in the course of this video well let me know what you think about this video in the comments and yes beautiful people i have come to the end of the video I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, do not forget to give this video a fat thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing to the beautiful channel, okay? And also, do not forget to click the bell just beside the subscribe button. So anytime I upload a video like this one, you definitely be the first to know, okay? All right, guys. With that being said, I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.